the Flamingo Showroom. I haven't seen a shithole this huge since Kirstie Alley bent over to pick up a seashell. <laughs> Flamingo! The oldest showroom. Never been cleaned, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I've got a wonderful dressing room. I want to thank the management. Very considerate. I want to thank the management for taking the time to clean the vomit off the piece. <laughs> Such excitement. No, I love Las Vegas, you know, because no matter what time of day it is, there's someone to serve you alcohol. <laughs> it kind of makes me feel like a kid at the Neverland Ranch. <laughs> It's all right, it's okay. I know the conditions here, I want to apologize. I know they're not the most sanitary, but right across the street, remember, is the very severely ha hazardous Celine Dion Theater. <laughs> Don't get too close. You're liable to catch second-hand sock. <laughs> no, I love Celine, I love Celine. What a voice, what a voice. I haven't heard notes like that since my mom was hit by a car. No, I love listening to her voice. Whenever someone has borrowed all my Jack Klugman albums, that's who I turn to, <laughs> Celine. Wayne Newton couldn't make it. I asked him to come and make a cameo. I thought it'd be nice, but he couldn't make it, unfortunately. This is apparently normally the time of evening when he has his mustache and balls penciled in. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> Carrot Top. There's a mensch, a real mensch. He makes us all feel better, doesn't he? Just remember, folks, no matter how rough get things get in life, at least you're not carrot top. <laughs> I was actually at the Celine Theater for that Earth to America shit. Who went to that? Anybody saw that? It's nice, isn't it nice? Those celebrities are really making sacrifices with the buying the Toyota Prius. Leo DiCaprio was very touching. He told the audience, I want everyone to know that the private jet that's waiting for me on the roof of this building to whisk me away is not idling. I have turned the engine off. It's a beautiful man, Leonardo. No, I do my own benefits, you know. I go to the animal rights shit, you know, everyone asks for that. <laughs> Kind of disappointing, you know, not the best-looking people, animal rights activists. <laughs> For every Pam Anderson, there's like 30 Rue McClanahan's. <laughs> you remember Rue from the Golden Girls. She was the hot, sexy one. <laughs> which on that show meant her pubes hadn't turned gray. <laughs> no, I'm against neutering, though. That's one I don't go for. You know, the balls chopping off. I, I, I came out with a line of do doggy condoms. Liver flavored for her pleasure. <laughs> lovely here in Vegas. So many lovely, fat, sweaty gamblers, really. really isn't this? No, we're in the desert, you sweat. You know, it's kind of like the Iraq. It's kind of like being in Iraq here, in the war. Americans spending money they don't have refusing to admit they're losing. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait a minute. How did the political joke get in here? The fuck was that? <clears throat> Excuse me. I have what they call Vegas throat. Okay, it's very dry. It's from going down on Debbie Reynolds. <laughs> I'm back! I'm back! I don't like joking about Paris Hilton either. You know, I'm sick of the celebrities, Paris Hilton. I'm like most people, really. I, I catch up on Paris in the tabloids. That's about it, you know? When I'm taking a dump on Us Magazine, <laughs> which is a lot. Seriously, I've pooped on her face so many times I don't recognize her without a mustache. <laughs> Thank you very much. By the way, I want to clear it up in case anyone, you know, I am a real dog, not a pup. Seriously, no self-respecting middle-aged man would crouch under a podium. 
<laughs> and manipulate the puppet, right? Well, except for Dick Cheney. <laughs> what? What? Who wrote this shit? <laughs>